what to do Drag Nation. Despite setting expectations by not announcing DLC plans before launch, like with the first game, everything changed when the terrible cyber attack spoiled Insomniac Spider-Man 2 DLC surprise, along with 10 years worth of their projects, which included the multiplayer Spider-Man game, which PlayStation canceled in order to allow Insomniac to focus on their single player games, while Sony put their support behind other live service endeavors like Concord. Not a great plan. This unfortunately resulted in months of constant inquiries from fans that became increasingly toxic as they wondered what was taking Insomniac so long to release their already exposed DLC as if they were unaware or simply didn't care that everything at the studio was delayed while they tried to secure their network and the lives of their employees who had their data leaked to the dark web while getting out the content they actually promised like the delayed New Game Plus update they decided to expand on and Marvel's Wolverine which they are contractually obligated to release and now have to scramble to rework and complete after almost everything about the game was shared by the hack. There was at some point speculation that maybe there was no DLC anymore, but that quickly disappeared when the new game plus update accidentally gave players access to developer tools, which allowed them to alter the game and get a preview of a planned DLC expansion based on the villain Beetle. And with Insomniac responding to questions about the story DLC, See with the exact same answer they give about all their upcoming updates before they're allowed to talk about them instead of giving a hard yes or no like they did about theories Eddie Brock would be Venom that confirmed the DLC was still very much coming they just weren't finished with it yet. After all why would Sony a company notorious for liking money as evidenced by the price of the PS5 Pro Hello. I like money. Not want Insomniac to release DLC all their fans want for a game that sold 11 million copies in less than a year. The original City That Never Sleeps was released for $25. You think Sony would be willing to sell a $5 pack of suits that none of their fans asked for and not put out a $20 to $30 DLC expansion that lets you fight carnage? Let's be serious here. Think Mark. That just left the question of when would be the perfect time for Sony to make it official. Many thought it would be the September state of play where Sony continued to promote the PS5 Pro, but instead of closing the show with Insomniac, it was Sucker Punch stepping into the spotlight with the reveal of Ghost of Yote, the highly anticipated follow-up to Ghost of Tsushima. This led to some fans thinking Insomniac skipping the state of play meant there was no DLC, but it shows the opposite. Remember, Insomniac skipped the February state of play, which focused on Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, even though they had a new game plus presentation ready to go and instead waited until the next day so Final Fantasy would have all the attention. The actual perfect time for them to announce the DLC is coming up soon though. Insomniac already confirmed they would be releasing a free PS5 Pro update, which will roll out with the launch of the PS5 Pro on November 7th. Their upcoming Marvel's Wolverine was also confirmed to be utilizing the power of the new console. Now, as Insomniac reminded us, their one year anniversary is coming up soon. Spider-Man 2 was released on October 20th, 2023. That's only about three weeks away and happens at the end of New York Comic Con. That is the perfect time to announce the Spider-Man 2 DLC and have it out by the launch of the PS5 Pro. The idea that a year after launch is too late to drop DLC has been a pretty silly talking point I've seen thrown around, which gets even more ridiculous when you remember God of War Ragnarok revealed a DLC expansion at the Game Awards in December, a month after after their own one year anniversary, despite straight up telling their fans not to expect any DLC. As of October 1st, Insomniac still won't confirm or deny their DLC plans, which tells me, as usual, the correct move is patience. Outside of the DLC, there is plenty to look forward to. Not only does Insomniac have Marvel's Wolverine and Marvel's Spider-Man 3 in development, they've officially started working on another superhero game. Click the video on screen to learn more.